welcome to the No Face Show. Um, mm. I think that you know we've got to meet uh, you, and now it's time to maybe steal some of your secret sauce. Not steal, but learn. Let's learn <laughs> from the one on like Chris Kiss. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're going to move to the section called the secret sauce. And secret I want to kind of, I kind of want to talk about you. Maybe you can uh, talk um, about your workflow when working, uh, beginning with composition, um, maybe tips that you do to write vocals. Uh, if there's any people that uh, write vocals in here, maybe they'd appreciate that. Uh, maybe production, mm. maybe also uh, get yeah. placements. Kind of just run us through, through, through your process of making music and share any secret sauce you might have. Perfect, man. Well, first of all, I'll say there's no right or wrong way of doing it ever because everyone's different i approach different songs in different ways at different times sometimes i write the lyrics before i've even started or before i've even started a beat or before i've got a beat i'll just write lyrics all i need is the tempo um but yeah generally speaking um i normally just get sent a beat and then i adapt to that but i just basically just play it on repeat for a, for a minute and just see how it makes me feel. I think of words, concepts, ideas, like it's always good to have, to start with a concept for the song before anything. Cause I know a lot of people, especially in rap, it's easy to just start writing shit, you know, and just Freestyle go and, and just like carry on as, as you know, go with the flow of it. But I've worked out later on that, coming up with a strong concept first is is makes things a lot easier and the results are normally better because you've got something to bounce off of with the lyrics and um and with the energy of it all but yeah man so i normally if it's a feature then i'm i'm adapting to someone else's beat so i just work out how it makes me feel come up with a concept and then go at it man I've heard some singers that say that they get the beat and those are like kind of like mumbling a melody and then trying to figure out some words to fit the melody. Is that also maybe you would you do like start like kind of mumbling and <laughs> picking and choose the right, the right words yeah. to come up with a concept? Yeah, I mean, in the last year or two years, I've actually been doing a lot of um, songwriting. I've been writing for K-pop bands, um, J like J Japanese bands as well. Um, and a technique that I've seen a lot of people do is they actually just put the microphone on record and then they just hum and freestyle melodies um, just off the top of their head. And then they go back through it, find the ones that they like, mm -hmm. and then they change it to the words. You know what I mean? Exactly. Um, awesome, it's an interesting yeah. way of doing it. Um, Cause you know, when you're, when you're, when you listen back to it, it's kind of weird because it's just gibberish. Do you know what I mean? But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned that you like send beats because uh, get, get sent beats and then kind of decide uh, what you sing on. So there's a lot of producers over here. Um, uh, a lot of the community is producer based. So could you give them maybe some tips on the best ways to contact singers, the best ways to find singers like like you essentially, and what's like the most professional way of of dealing both business side of things and like artist yeah. side of things, and also in terms of the music. Things well, I would for. say definitely, if you're taking it seriously, I'd say get, definitely have a manager who knows about the business side of things, um, because I've signed deals before that I shouldn't have signed. Um, and if I had a manager at the time to go through it, then it would have benefited me in the long term. So I'll say get a manager. Um, it doesn't have to be someone who's experienced necessarily. It can just be someone who's got a lot of knowledge in the business side and is passionate about music. Um, as far as like, as far as contacting people, it literally like the, the, the game has changed now. It's not so professional anymore. It's like online. It's like the world is in our fingertips now. Do you know what I mean? So we can yeah. reach out directly DMing. DMing yeah 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 just so dm easy. the shit out of everyone man that's what i'd say like pester them like to the point where they're like fucking hell i'm gonna have to reply now <laughs> <Do you> know? <laughs> like that's that's like tenacity is like the best word in the world like you have to be tenacious and for anybody who doesn't really understand what that means it just means keep pushing 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 all the time keep pursuing leads, keep reaching out proactively to DJs, producers, not just 
huge ones. Sometimes people who are like, you know, middle level can ha also have a, a benefit. So yeah, man, I just say be very proactive and be tenacious. Um, and I I've found another thing as well, a, a thing that's worked quite well for me is instead of sending text messages, I'll send a voice note to people yeah. where I'm like, yo, what's going on? No, 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 no. Like proper animated, like, so they can hear your voice. They can hear your energy. Um, yeah, it's an easier way to connect works. for sure. Yeah. For sure. We, I don't I, I like even, I, I, I rarely, use, like when we, cause we work with uh, Chris a lot where we've been kind of, you know, getting our direction down, but I don't remember last time I actually sent you a demo through email. It's like so much like iPhone app messages yeah. and back yeah. and forth. That's and what I, I mean, feel man. like, yeah, I feel it's like it's direct, isn't it? Like, yeah. And, and, you know, and I was talking to, uh, I'm just gonna, uh, like, I was again, going back to that, uh, guy, the really famous songwriter that I was talking to. And we discussed that really briefly is that a lot of you guys, especially listening now, you got to understand is, uh, the industry is so fast now that mm. guys that if I sometimes want to have a beat or like something really good. And you're the first guy that comes into my, not you particularly, I'm saying if a, a particular artist comes in my mind first, a lot of guys seem to think where they're like, okay, cool, let me get home. I'll send you a reply in a couple of days. I might already be recording that yeah, fucker yeah. with someone else. Yeah, like, that's another, that's another big no thing for me. Um, big, big thing is time efficiency. If you yeah. can be quick with your replies to people, um, with your turnaround times, if you can find ways to speed up the process of everything, then you're getting more stuff done quicker and you're on to the next thing. But that also doesn't mean rush. Like you still want to make sure you've got quality. Um, but that's another thing that like a lot of people have told me that they're happy with working with me is because um, they'll send me a beat and I'll send them a finished vocal within like an hour or two hours do you know what i mean yeah. and they're like whoa and then you know as long as you as long as you um don't just send it and in a rush and you're happy with what you've done then i'd say the quicker you can get things back to people the better because they're still fresh in their mind um and you need to capitalize on that you know what i mean yeah, 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 yeah sure i, I honestly lost like that like yeah, a lot of projects will honestly, get lost with time sorry yeah yeah i honestly think that i honestly think that you had so much success with a lot of these uh artists is because like just you know talking to you for this past year like you and i have been like having a relationship is like i i i, I you are so like professional and responsive and on point like whenever you need to be reached and whatnot and i mm. think that's a big bonus for you and that's a big bo that should be that should be the cream of the crop for any artist and yeah industry, yeah honest yeah i i agree because you know, when you, you kind of, you lose the energy, the longer you're waiting for a reply. Do you know what I mean? And, uh, and if I've sent something to someone and two weeks have gone past and I haven't got a reply, I'm just like, do you know what? Fuck this guy, man. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I know people are busy and I get it, but you know, to, to not reply at all, you know, or just, just say, look, I'm going to be busy for the next couple of weeks. I'll holler you. You've got to be on point with, your communication with with people but yeah definitely yeah. proactively reach out to as many people as you can um yeah just be tenacious yeah we, we live we, we work literally we work in uh we work in the industry of of literally ghosting it's like it's so weird yeah. because i i see it so much and the thing is and a lot of and i can't tell if sometimes artists uh do that because they're just they're like, oh, I'm not prepared or I don't have something ready or something like that. I feel like the EDM, and I don't know if it's other communities as well, but in the EDM community, I see a lot of people kind of just moving the way they think they should be moving. And that really hurts guys in the long run. I see guys falling off because they're not being uh, responsive or they're not being and transparent pro with other people like, that they're working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I mean. Like, it's like... If you don't shoot your shot, then you ain't gonna score a goal. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's it. So like, I've been I've been guilty of that in the past where I've never thought it, anything's good enough, and 
you know, I'm like, nah, it's not good enough. I need to do something else, something, you know. Um, but there comes a point where you can get into that routine and you can't get out of it. So the sooner you can break out of like the procrastinating uh, and just start pumping stuff out there, um, even just to get feedback on, not necessarily for collaborations and stuff, but just to get feedback on. Once you start putting stuff out there, you'll feel a lot more comfortable because, you know, before music gets released, people ain't judging. You know what I mean? They're not going to judge you if it's something that's not a finished product. They will get the idea if it's the right person. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,